Hello and welcome to today's review and today it's this, Amelie's Journey, Joanna Jackson. Right, before I start, now I have to say I did try and colour match my costume with the cover, black, white, bit of lilac, which looks blue, so actually I feel a bit daft. Not to worry, on with the review. Amelie's Journey, Joanna Jackson. Now, what an interesting voyage we embark upon when we open the pages to Amelie's journey. Set in the early part of the 20th century, the story centres on the life of an ambitious young woman who is driven to follow her dreams at a time when women were frowned upon for having such notions. Against a back cloth of tragedy, Amelie channels her sadness into strength, which carries her across the ocean to a new life of opportunity and change. But far from the smooth crossing she had hoped for, Amelie finds herself in the depths of a cold, cruel event that looks set to sink hope and heart. Through the comfort and kindness of new acquaintances, though, Amelie finds the strength to continue with her chosen career, where she gains respect for the timely quality of her work. On this journey, through a time hard to imagine now in the 21st century, Amelie seems to court tragedy, but always, from the wreckage of despair, there is a lining, a blanket, silvery and kind, and willing to restore even the most broken of hearts. It's written in a journalistic style from the narrator's point of view, I found the dialogue agreeable, with a real sense of karma running through the story. And like all good stories that usher you into the comfort lounge, you know that sooner or later there'll be another pivotal event that moves you to another seat. And here we see Amelie's single-minded ambition soften through a series of compromises, re-evaluating her head of ambition to the heart of what truly matters. At times, I wasn't entirely certain if and with whom she may once again find love. Joanna Jackson seems to keep everything on the table, shuffling the deck to only truly show her hand through the closing pages. I have only one observation, and that is a couple of intimate scenes that I felt were at odds with the time and the period and the rest of the writing. But, fortunately, if you don't want to read them, you can stop yourself at the bedroom door, turn over the page and pick up again at breakfast. There, choice is yours. And, you know, just use your imagination, whatever. But what you need to do then is get yourself a copy. Amelie's Journey, Joanna Jackson. And decide for yourself. Why not? This is uh, the fourth in the series from Joanna Jackson. She's perfectly happy to sign uh, sign the books, gift wrap, Christmas wrap. She'll do a little dance, I think, if you ask her to. Uh, why not get all four? I mean, it is Christmas. Come on, treat yourself. Thank you.